Okay, okay, okay. It's official. Jordans are dead. They're dead. All right. Not Jordans per se. Jordan reselling is dead. Yes, welcome back, people. That was a bit of a clickbait. I'll give it to you. It's a bit of clickbait. But, like I said in the intro, Jordan resales are dead, man. They're, they're not going to be what they used to be back in 2020 because they've gone back to what they should be. No, what they should be because Jordan prices have gone up. Inflation's gone up. Everything's going up. Goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. The only way you're making money on a Jordan is if it's a collab, old school, colorway, it's got a story to it, and it's something unique. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Before the last dance, back in 2020, Jordans were, you can make a bit of money for Jordans. They were what we call the average market price now on resales. You know? Might even make a hundred pounds off of them, etc. From retail, maybe two hundred, but you never made a hundred percent profit. Never made a hundred percent profit off of Jordan. The last dance come, and everyone knew who Jordan was. They then related Jordan to the Jordan sneakers. They then realised that Nike actually made Jordans. Jordan wasn't a brand on its own. Sounds crazy, but a lot of people just thought Jordans had nothing to do with Nike. But average Joe started getting Jordans. Mids were out of sale. So-and-so. Couldn't get a mid. Couldn't get a low. Anything with Jordan on it, it was gone. As soon as it landed, Nike store, whatever store, it was gone. Couldn't get them. Didn't understand it. Jordan 1s were just selling out. No matter what the colorway, they were gone. Resellers were making profits. It was just shooting up. You could get a Jordan and make £200. You're making hundred. 200% profits if you was lucky if you had a bad day you was making 50% profit it was crazy just crazy all of a sudden everyone was a reseller Instagram just blew up everyone was you could get everyone was a plug everyone could get a, a Jordan for you somewhere I would even go into work and people who didn't even wear trainers were asking me can you get a Jordan did you even know what Jordan was? Fast forward. We're two years on, three years on. Inflation. We had a lockdown, obviously. Prices of Jordans have gone up. Jordans now, if you get a Jordan 1 high, it's costing you just under £200 and change. Get a Jordan 4, Jordan 5, Jordan 6, any other Jordan from Jordan 1. You're banging £200 easily. Now, like I said at the beginning, add a story, old school colorway, add a collab. You can make some peas off of it. Don't get me wrong. But I've never seen so much Jordan sitting anywhere. You go to any store, they're just sitting there. Different colors, lows, highs, mids. And like, let's be honest, OG Jordan heads don't like mids. They don't. They'll go for a low. But it's mainly the highs. Mids were selling out. Selling out. Maybe they, they were a bit cheaper than the highs. But they were gone. Now, mainly mids, I would say. Mainly lows. Different variations of Jordans. But they're sitting there. You go into any store. You know, you look at the Osprey store. Just pages, pages. Go on SNS. Just pages, pages. Go on the night website. Pages, pages, and pages. Now, my question is, are people just tired of Jordan? Has everyone got a Jordan now? You know, most Nick heads will go for the drops. Or, you know, some will still sell out. But some colorways are sitting. Just sitting. And what seems true to me is that, like I said before, if it hasn't got a story, it's not a collab, it's not an OG colorway, it's doing what it normally should do. And just sit. Just sit. If you like a Jordan, you should be able to go and pick it up. Don't be wrong, there's always issues with sizing. You know, you might not be able to get your size. But it's doing what it used to do before the last dance. Now, how does it impact a normal sneakhead? Not really. 
We still had a bit of trouble getting those things what we wanted. But resellers. My Instagram page of resellers has just disappeared. There's no, it's just gone. You've got the old school ones, ones are still hanging on. Ones probably bought in, getting more sizes than they usually get. Not the ones you get a size 9 or a size 10 or maybe two size 10s and things like that, if they're lucky. They're gone because they realise there's no money in it no more. You know, you try and sell them on StockX for £20 above retail, that's your fees. Try and sell them on eBay, you might not be £30, £40 above retail. You're making £20, maybe. If you're lucky, you get the odd ones like... Travis Scott, you're going clear. But it's always been like that. Nothing's really changed. So when I say Jordans are dead, I don't mean Jordans themselves. I think it's gone back to what it normally was. But resellers, it's over. Let me know what you think. Let me, am I right? Am I wrong? I'm Patrick T. I'm out of here. Peace.